because it mentions something that goes against the Bible. Would that make sense? And it's not just it's something that goes against the Bible. It's saying it's making let a me, it's making a positive let claim. Me, let me, Make, that, that, let me rephrase what I'm saying. Okay, go ahead. If you didn't know anything about Christianity, uh -huh. would your rejection of Islam still be valid the way you explained just now? Yes. Right. So, the <coughs> Quran says Christ talked about someone to come after him, whose name would be Ahmed, and you, whether you're a Christian or you have no knowledge of Christianity, mm -hmm. you think because of that you re reject Christianity. Yeah, and here's the reason why. It's because. If I'm, I'm investigating the claims as an investigator, you know, I'm trying to verify, okay, is this tell, is he telling the truth here? So when I go and I investigate and I don't see anywhere in any history where Jesus mentioned Ahmed to come after him, I'm like, oh, well, this book is false. It's making a false claim, you know? Very interesting. So as an investigator, you have investigated and looked into what this claim Jesus made. Firstly, where he has he made these claims? Yeah. The writings you've read yourself, yourself in, in, in Greek, in Hebrew, in, yeah. in Aramaic. So you've, you've learned of all, all these languages and investigated, right? So I, I've, I've, I've looked into the text. I've looked into the text so and I haven't a, seen it. If a text is in Greek, you've looked into the Greek text, you've understood it, fine, good. So, so you've investigated that the early reports about Christ, the ones that talks about Christ himself, and you have made yourself a good investigator, a good critic, and say, this kind of writings is authentic and acceptable and reliable. For example, when we look at writings about Christ, in the Gospel of St. Thomas, for example, 114 saints, on the Gospel of Judas, in the Gospel of Infancy, right? In the Gospel of Mary, none of which are in the Christian canon, in the Bible the Christians follow today. But these were written by people who thought they were following Christ, who thought they were following the teaching of Christ, what Christ preached. So you investigated them and you considered, so you have all of these writings before in the New Testament, in your New Testament, and the other 45 or so that we know of extant in various manuscript editions, and you said, okay, this is reliable, this is not. So the question now pinges on, how do you establish authenticity and reliability of all of these textual tradition that is about available to us? That's actually not the question. That's but, the question for me, well, to you. Well, yeah, so my, my question is, at first was, where does Jesus say this? That was the question. Not on, is this reliable, is this reliable, is this reliable, is this reliable? When we look at the text of all the claims of what Jesus said, Where? we do not, Where in, do you look? In, in the earliest testaments that we have of, his, of his words, the New, the New Testament. That's right. right. Again. No, well, that's no, no, what we that's have. What I'm well, it, wait, let just, me, let, can I land this? I, I will not just speak every, let, I want to clarify something. Yeah, but let me land this. Huh? Let me land. Let but me, but let me, you misunderstood my question. No, I, I, no I, I'm trying to explain my point. But do you understand my question though? I, I understand your question. You, you asked me how, you, so this, 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 is, this is why I'm saying this, because you're changing the, the conversation to not. how do you determine what's reliable? Yes. My question is, no, it's not, it's not that. My first question was, does Jesus mention the uh, Ahmed? And if so, where? I haven't seen anywhere where he does that. So if you can provide that for sure, me, sure, sure. that would be beautiful. Sure. So this is what, I, what I'm trying to establish. Okay. Whatever Christ said or not said, let me just remind you, some, if you didn't remember, there are reports in some Gospels, Christ is saying something like this. I have many things to tell you, many things, not one thing, not two things, many things, but you cannot be of them. But when I go, he will come and tell you. That means whatever Christ said, he said many things, but he didn't actually tell them, these disciples. So the things that he didn't say, that also did he tell to someone else, number one, because he didn't tell them. Right? Like he didn't meet Paul in real life when he was alive. He did. No, no. Yes, Paul, he did. In real life. In real life. He in was, real life. Jesus is alive. In real life, Paul didn't meet Christ. Yes, he did. Don't tell me because Paul saw a vision. Of not what? real Jesus. Right? Wait, it Let's was Jesus. That. Let's see that. He was alive. Um, a vision and a dream is not the same as seeing you. If I see you in my dream, and if I see you now physically, is it the same? It's not the same. So I don't have to even listen an answer for Did, did Muhammad really see Jesus and Abraham uh, and Moses? Let me clarify. On you. the night journey? Let me clarify. Because that so was a vision. Let me clarify. But, but you believe that. Hang on. It's a clarify. I'm okay. making a distinction. So it's, a a double distinction. it's a double standard. I'm making a distinction. What's making the distinction? distinction? I am telling you. Okay. So now, when we say, so no where did Christ, where did Christ, 
Where did Christ say these things, right? You have documents about, you have documents yeah. in which you say, these are the documents that we believe Christ says so, right? The question inevitably becomes is, how reliable are these documents in which they supposedly talk about what Christ said or Christ did? So okay. it's important for us to verify and authenticate these documents. All right, let me respond what are the, No, no let, let me respond. you can respond. My, here's, my respond. Here's, my, here's my question. What are the criteria that we can use to determine the authenticity and reliability of what Christ said in those available documents? Got you. So let me ask you this, and just a quick answer, please, so I can pick it back off. When you quoted Jesus saying, I have many things to say to you, but you can't bear them now. Was that authentic? Is that an authentic for statement me, of Jesus? it's not. But uh, okay. for you it is. Wait, 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 no. You don't know what's authentic for me. Okay. But, 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 wait, 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 but, but, but hold on. Ta ta time. Time out. Just don't, don't misrepresent me. I won't do that to you. You quoted it. You what quoted did this. Wait, here? please stop. What did I, did I, I interrupt you? What did I say? Did I interrupt you? Yes, you did. No, I did I not. I sat here and let you speak. Oh, no, you I, interrupted me. No, I, no, I let you speak. Yeah, it's on camera. Continue. Thank you. I appreciate it. So you quoted it. You said in one of these documents, Jesus says, and you, you, you built your argument on, there's other words that Jesus mentioned that are not found here, and he didn't tell you what these words are. That's what you built your case on. So now when I asked you, okay, let's rewind. That verse that you quoted, was it authentic? You said no. So then therefore, you don't know if there were other words. You can't say that there were many words that Jesus didn't say to his disciples. You don't know if he didn't say everything. Respond. No, let me finish. Okay. okay? Finish so you don't know if Jesus didn't say everything. For all we know, he did. Of course, especially according to the Quran, he said everything that was in the Injil. He revealed the Injil from, your, from the Quran's paradigm. So he didn't miss anything. Now, if we're, no, we'll, we'll, we'll see. So now... But you didn't finish the verse. He says, I have many things to say to you now, right? But uh, I have many things to say to you, but you can't bear them now. But when the Holy Spirit comes, who the Father will send in my name, he will guide you into all truth. For some reason, you left that out. I don't know why. But I can tell you why right now. Well, 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 no, because it wasn't important. Well, wait, the point uh, those that you well, make is it's, it's, it's very important. It's very important. So here it is. I'm asking why again. Well, those many this, is what I'm, this is what I'm asking. Your Quran says, it makes a claim. Jesus mentioned Ahmed to come after him. Where did he say that? I'm telling you, in my turn, I'm explaining to you. All right. Just like the prophecies of Christ himself cannot be found even by his name, even once in the Old Testament, the entirety of the Old Testament, we say, this way the Quran is saying, he was described to them by description, by attributes, right? So the prophet was known to them not only by, like, this is what it is, says X, Y, and Z, but it's all known from the scripture. Just like the absence of every single book of the Old Testament, in which the name of Christ is not even mentioned once. You assume it's referring to Jesus. It might well refer to Hare Krishna, right? So now, let's come back to the point I'm saying. When I say Jesus says many things, I didn't say this was authentic to me. I am saying, you consider Avery, this part authentic to you, binding to me, not to me, to you. So from your own binding, at least you should say, right, I agree there were many things he was supposed to say he didn't, right? So the question I asked you again, which you didn't answer is this, the criteria of determining authenticity and reliability. Let's go on here once again. Okay. Okay. So you mentioned how, you try to make a parallel, how Jesus, the Old Testament prophecies about Jesus, the he's not, I, I'm responding to you. I'm responding to you because you didn't answer my question. Direct question. Yeah, I'm, I asked the direct, not, look, wait, wait, I asked a direct question and you didn't answer me. What was the direct so, question? My direct question was, your Quran says Jesus mentioned Ahmed. Where did he say that? That he was a direct question. And, and, and you and you couldn't, you didn't answer me directly. He went on waffling about, uh, oh, well, stop, stop. Let me, okay, well, you're misunderstanding me then. No, let me, Okay, that's fine. All right, so let me respond. Can I? But Thank you. you. Responding to? Uh, I'm you're responding to you. You're I'm responding. I wrote down what you said. I wrote down what you said. So I'm responding. You're wasting my time. What did I say? I'm about to say it. I'm responding. Okay. So you mentioned how, you mentioned how, that Jesus, the Old Testament prophecies about Jesus, we won't find Jesus prophesied by name in the Old Testament. However, 
we can find descriptions of him in these Old Testament prophecies. And likewise, it will be like Muhammad, where we don't find his name explicitly, but we can, the Quran says we'll find his descriptions. However, this is where you have a problem, Mansoor. Your problem is, is that your Quran says we'll find him by name. It says it. It says, Jesus said, a messenger named Ahmed will come after me. So I'm asking, where did he say this? Wait, pause. So this is where you, I have, you know, it's a false equivocation. Here. It's not the same thing. It's a false parallel. With Jesus, the Bible doesn't say in the Old Testament, we'll find the Messiah by name. However, we do. Isaiah 49, 6. It mentions Yeshua, the salvation of Christ. So we do find them by name. So, so, wait, wait. So, Paul, so, Paul, look. Here's the, here's the thing. Don't make claims. Well, wait. Here's the discussion. No, yeah. This is. I am. You're not. But I need you to engage with me. So, look. So, look. So, look. You said, look. You said that you we find descriptions of Muhammad, right? We don't have to find his name, which. It says that elsewhere in 7157 that we, we find them written. Okay, that, you know, it doesn't yeah. by name. Do you have but the Bible? 61, wait, 61 verse 6. I, what you have to I got say. you, thank you. Because, because you, you don't seem to be See, engaging. Well, I, I'm engaging with you directly. You're not engaging with me. No, no, you're not listening Six, to my Okay, look, wait, hold on. Let, let's listen to each other. 61 verse 6 says Ahmed is mentioned by name. Where? Uh, I'll answer again. You do not have the document surviving, and I'll tell you why. The existence wait, say that part again. Sorry. Hmm? Say, repeat yourself, I didn't hear. You do not possess the documents in which we can find these names, and I'll tell you why. Ah. Because Christians have been, <laughs> as well as the Jewish people, throughout the centuries, corrupting, corrupting, corrupting the so-called words attributed to the prophets and messengers. Beautiful. And Persons. Beautiful. For example, Beautiful. I alluded to you how the corruption took you place. You just threw Muhammad under the even, bus. Even in the first 400 years of Christianity, people were corrupting the text, text left, right, and center. Mm. Now, what's more important about the God we worship or so called prophecies here and there? What's more important? Uh, well, I'll answer you. It's, it's really it's true. Like, for example, if if Allah says anything wrong in the Quran, about him, anything. Yeah. If He says no, anything, it's about the concept of God. Yeah, well, okay. Do, do, can God be wrong about anything? Um, let me answer. No, it's a yes or no, please, because it's my turn to speak. You want me to answer? Right, yet hold on. In, in a control. I got. I get you. I get you. Hold on. Can God be wrong in anything? No. Can God, can, can God be wrong about anything? Um, let me answer. It's a yes or no, so I can continue. Um, do you want me to answer? No, no, though. it's okay. okay. So, so the answer, as we get from the crowd, is a no. Okay, I hope you agree. I don't know. You might be a, Irrelevant. a little heretic. Irrelevant. Allow me to answer. Well, well, so well, well, so, well, we'll see. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, so the answer for the crowd and most Muslims speak will be no. Well, I'm speak speaking to, to you. And I'm just letting you know that you're a heretic. I just, no, if it's, 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 me, it's very fair. It's very answer? fair because you won't. So I need to ask your supporters. We got to ask the people. You didn't answer the question. You didn't, you didn't answer the question, Monsoy. Ask him again. Ask him again. Okay. Can Allah, can God be wrong about anything, yes or no? Are you finished? Yes or no? <laughs> okay. Let the crowd tell him. Ask him, is he finished? It's a, it's a yes or no, so Are I can finished? continue. Are you finished? I, I have, I, I'm, I'm asking this for a reason. I am going to answer, but I don't want you to interrupt. All right, pause. Yeah, so no. So it's okay. No, no, so, no, 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 no. It's, it's okay. a no. I don't, want you, okay. I don't want you to answer. It's not okay. I don't want you to answer. It's okay. To you. It's okay. I don't want to talk to you. Well, well, that's fine. Because you, you, you look, look, don't, you don't, don't run away now, now, man. Don't run away now, man. Come on, man. Don't run away now. Come on, my son. Come on, my son. Yeah, come on, man. Come on, man. What's oh, so up, really? Shameful on you, isn't it? No, it's, a, it's terrible. It's, it's, it's shameful on you. Look, we busted your game, right? Really? Uh, really? If you want to continue. You just busted Allah and Muhammad. We busted your you. You busted Muhammad. Busted I'm about to show you how. That's why you don't want to answer. If you want to engage with me talking, that's why you don't want to answer. That's why you don't want to answer. We busted your game. That's why you don't want to answer the question. Have you finished question? Okay, okay, how about I'm going to just respond. Have you finished your question? No, I haven't. Okay, okay. finish so your question. I'll, 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 okay, thank you. All right. So it's, it's, it's okay. We, we good. We're here. We're here. We're here. We good. So, so the question was 
can Allah be wrong about anything? Mansoor refused to answer the question, uh, but everybody else, everybody uh, else correction. answered yes. You did everybody not. else said you did no. Not give whoa, 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 relax, relax, yes I did, yes, yes, it's a yes or no, Mansoor, it's a yes or no, Mansoor, Mansoor, we right here, we're here, we're right here, focus, focus, focus. Um, that really shows the intellectual maturity of the Christian crowd. Ah, ah, hey, hey, hey. The Christians have the intellectual capacity to answer a simple question. Hey, good job, Christians. Good job, Christians. Good job, Christians. Good job, Christians. Yeshua Akbar. Yeshua Akbar. Ah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Come on, man. As we now, as we now realize, you are not sincere to have a discussion with a Muslim. I don't think you're sincere. You haven't even been able to answer a single question straightforward. Why, why are you refusing to answer a question straightforward? Yes, you have. You are not allowing me to respond. It's here. It is. It's all, can Allah be wrong? Yes or no, Mansoor? It's a yes or no. He's not finished. It's a yes or no. Stop there. Can I answer? It's a yes or no. Can I answer? It, just give me yes or no. Good luck. Can I answer? Look, look, let, me, let me tell you why. Do you have a verbal diary? Let, let, me, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Let, let, let me tell you why, Mansoor. Of course, of course. Of course, of course. So, so here it is. Here it is, Mansoor. I want to Mansoor, Mansoor, I got you. I got you. you just, no, no, hold on. Hold on. I got to say this. I got to say this. I got to say this. Can you answer? I want to answer now. So it's a yes or no? I am going to answer. Once you give me a yes or no, then I'm going to continue my turn. Okay? I'm going to answer. Yeah, I'm going to continue my turn after the yes or no. I want to answer. Yeah, here it is. So, 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 so you spoke, you spoke for at least uh, about a minute, right? You spoke about at least a minute, right? You can so the, Okay, but here's my thing. No, it's a yes or no, and then I go. You will carry on afterwards. So it's a yes or no. Are you scared to hear the answer? I want a yes or no. Yes or no, man. Yes or no. Okay, you know what? You know what? The, yes answer, no? the answer is God yes cannot no? be wrong in anything. Thank you. I answered without saying yes or no. I didn't play your game. I didn't play his game. I was able to answer without saying yes or no. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys. Your game was busted. Oh, you're right, you're right, right. And now, and now, again, my game was bust. My game was busted. And now we're about to see how Muhammad just got busted by you. You, but you busted Muhammad. Let me show you how. Because now, now watch this, guys. So look. You, look now watch this. Now, now, yeah. Now watch this. So the, so the concept of God is important, right? Yes. The concept of God is important. Oh, I got you, Mansoor. Relax, relax. So the concept of God is important. So the concept of God, the concept of God, so the concept of God, the concept of God mean, so one of the uh, uh, intricate characteristics of Him is that He cannot be wrong. He cannot be false. Okay, good. So if He gets this wrong, Mansoor, if if He says that that uh, Jesus mentioned. Ahmed to come after him and it didn't happen then the, uh, Allah is not God in the Quran he's not God because he fails when it comes to the concept of the true God he can't be wrong so that's why we're investigating this this is important and uh, wait 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 no I'm not okay because I gotta get back to what you said okay so yeah yeah sorry sorry no, about that. sorry my bad, my bad. so so look so look so when you say for example that um that we cannot, we don't have any of the documents where we can see or verify where Jesus said this. We have no evidence of this claim, right? That's what you said. We don't have any evidence really of Jesus's words. That's what you said. So we can't find this. So what you have, be, because, yeah, this is what you said. You said that. Well, no, I, I, I have perfect memory. Yeah, it's okay. So, so it's good. It's good. So you said this is because, because over the centuries, second, third, fourth, fifth century, the Christians have corrupted their scripture, and that's why we cannot find the true words of Jesus. For example, him mentioning that Ahmed will come after him. So you just busted Muhammad, where your Quran says, and Allah, by the way, because Allah says that they had the Injil. They had the gospel that Jesus preached. They had it with them. And in that, in that, wait, uh, wait, you're saying that we don't? 
of course not. Yeah. Okay, okay, good. So what? So what is the NGO? Let me tell you. All right, good. Exactly. So now it's my turn to speak. Right? Absolutely. What is the NGO? And then I'll go back to the concept of. What is the NGO? So now the NGO is what God gave to Isa Alayhi Salam. What was that? You interrupt him. Explain it. You were interrupting me the whole time. Do you have a problem of letting people speak? I have, a, I have a problem of letting people lie. I'm trying to help you be on track. Uh, you just called me a liar. Yes, I did. End of discussion. Why are you editing it? Tough. He couldn't tell me what the NGO was. He calls me a liar. Uh, uh, he should have at least uh, have. Uh, have, uh, have, uh, have after you, uh, after you tried to insult my intelligence, after you insulted and my intelligence, say, and now you can dish out what you can't take. Me, you can dish out what you can't take. I'm not interested in speaking to someone who accused people of lying. But you accuse you, you accuse me of having a memory problem of of of, yeah, of, clearly, of, of messing up clearly, your words. Clearly. So so you can insult my intelligence, uh, me. but I can't uh, I can't say that you're a liar. Is there anyone else? You're a liar. Who's capable to speak. Is there, is there anybody else who's a Muslim that could tell me where the heck yeah, can I find Muslim. Jesus saying off me? Anyone? Any, any Muslims? Any Muslims? Any Muslims? Any Muslims? Any Muslim? 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 All right, take care.